Hola clase, hoy vamos a conjugar los verbos de ver y necesitar. We've actually worked a lot with conjugating ER and AR verbs in the last couple chapters, so this shouldn't be too complicado. Pero primero vamos a practicar el vocabulario. ¿Cómo se dice to tidy your room? Arreglar el cuarto. ¿Cómo se dice to sweep? Berrer. ¿Cómo se dice to cook? Cocinar. ¿Cómo se dice to mow the lawn? Cortar el césped. ¿Cómo se dice to fold the clothes? Doblar la ropa. ¿Cómo se dice to make the bed? Hacer la cama. ¿Cómo se dice to wash the dishes? Lavar los platos. ¿Cómo se dice to wash the clothes? Lavar la ropa. ¿Cómo se dice to clean the bathroom or to clean? Limpiar. ¿Cómo se dice to vacuum? Pasar la aspiradora. ¿Cómo se dice to iron? Planchar. ¿Cómo se dice to set the table? Poner la mesa. ¿Cómo se dice to clear the table? Quitar la mesa. ¿Cómo se dice to take out the trash? Sacar la basura. ¿Cómo se dice to dust? Sacudir los muebles. Los muebles means furniture, so to dust the furniture. ¿Cómo se dice to dry the clothes? Secar la ropa. ¿Cómo se dice to hang the clothes? Tender la ropa. ¿Cómo se dice to work in the garden? Trabajar en el jardín. So, vamos a comenzar con el verbo deber. So, deber means one should. Deber plus infinitive is used to express that someone must or should do something. So, thankfully, deber is conjugated like a regular ER verb. If it starts with yo, it ends in o. Yo debo. Tu debes, el ella debe, usted debe, nosotros debemos, vosotros debáis, ellos, ellas deben, and ustedes deben. Necesitar plus infinitive expresses that someone must, someone needs to do something. So there's definitely something different about someone must or should do something and someone needs to do something. Generally speaking, necesitar expresses a slightly stronger sense of obligation than deber. Both verbs have regular verb conjugation. So this is a regular AR verb, but if it starts with yo, it ends in o. Yo necesito. Tú necesitas. El ella necesita. Usted necesita. Nosotros necesitamos. Vosotros necesitáis. Ellos, ellas necesitan. Y ustedes necesitan. So, por ejemplo, for example, yo necesito practicar mi vocabulario de español. I need to practice my Spanish vocabulary. So, on page four, you have eight sentences that you need to translate into español about what you should do or what you need to do. So vamos a ver. And so remember, you're going to see a lot of these on your quizzes on Connect. So it's really um, beneficial to you to follow along. I should fold the clothes. Yo debo doblar la ropa. We need to study for the exam. Necesitamos estudiar para el examen. One should mow the lawn. One debe cortar el césped. Numero cuatro, they need to take out the trash on Fridays. Ellos necesitan sacar la basura los viernes. Numero cinco, you need to iron the clothes tomorrow. 
Tu debes planchar la ropa mañana. And as you can see, we're using all the vocabulary that we were just introduced in Chapter 3. And so that's one of the most important parts about learning Spanish. If you know the vocabulary, it'll make it a lot easier to be able to complete a lot of the activities. And remember that you need to see and hear a word at least at the bare minimum seven times before your brain can memorize it. So making flashcards um, can really be helpful in this case. Numero seis, we need to vacuum. Necesitamos pasar la aspiradora. You all should go to the movies Thursday. So when you see you all, this is when you would use ustedes. Ustedes deben ir al cine, cine a jueves. And so notice after the verb necesitar and also the, after the verb deber, there's always an infinitive of the verb, right? So we need to vacuum. We need, we should go. I need to make my bed at night. Necesito hacer, hacer mi cama por la noche. So that concludes our lesson for today. And I will see you in the next lesson when we do expressions with Tener. Viva!